morning VHS. As you all know, prom is April 4th. Prom glasses will be given out at the prom and the shirts will be distributed here at school at a later date. And now for some blood drive information. Tuesday, 142 people tried to give blood and 112 pints of blood were given to the Red Cross. Coming up soon, the senior class is going to raise money by having a powder puff football game. This will be played by the senior girls. Sign up now with your, with your senior class officers. Also, we here at Good Morning BHS would we like to wish this, a speedy recovery to the many students who were in accidents this past weekend. Okay, this six weeks in our, my American history classes, we're working on the stock market. We go over how to read the newspaper and how to buy and sell stocks. And the computer we won from uh, Food World comes in real handy to show the students how to buy and sell the stocks. <coughs> okay, out of the, each class, we'll pick about uh, six people to participate in the Troy State Stock Market Game, which lasts 10 weeks, and uh, they'll be competing against anywhere in the neighborhood of three to 450 teams statewide. Uh, in the last few years, we've done fairly well. Last year, we had one team in the top 50, and uh, oh, six years ago, we came in third. So it's really exciting. It gives them an opportunity to learn how to read the newspaper and find out how to buy and sell stocks. That's it, Coach. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. As all of you know, the prom is coming up here in a few weeks. We're going to talk to some of the seniors to find out what their thoughts are about this year's prom. What do y'all think the theme of this year's prom should be? It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday by boys to men. Everything I do, I do for you by Brian Adams. Shameless. Here's a quarter. Call someone who cares. Travis Tritt. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to talk to a few over here about where they are planning on eating. We're planning on eating at the Fog Cutter. Mr. C's. Red Lobster. I'm about to go to Daryl's. I'm running short on money, so I'm going to have my mom fix me something before I go. That's a good idea. Now we're going to talk to some and see what they're having to do to get ready for prom night. I have to rent a tux, make dinner reservations, see about getting flowers, and of course there's always pictures. I will have to learn to walk in the high heels. I'm going to design my own dress. Get a date. Today we're talking with Coach Kitchens about last week's basketball games against West Morgan and Arab. Uh, last week we played West Morgan and Arab. Uh, we faced West Morgan on Tuesday night. Uh, we defeated West Morgan by 17 points, 55 to 38. We were led in scoring by Garcia Tony with 17 points. Uh, excuse me, with, by Josh Cooper with 15 and Garcia Tony with 12. Uh, we were led in rebounding by Andre Malone with nine, and we were led in assists by Chris Murray with seven and Charles Black with five. On Thursday night, we lost a tough battle with Arab. Uh, we were led in scoring in Arab game by Garcia Tony with 17. Uh, once again, Andre Malone led us in rebounding with nine. Garcia Tony had eight, and uh, we were led in assist again by Chris Murray with seven. Coach, the uh, the area tournament starts this week. Is that correct? That's correct. We travel over to Albertville on Tuesday night. We open the tournament against Albertville at 7:30. Uh, we're 
confident going into the tournament. We're playing our best defense of the season right now. Uh, we be began to shoot the ball a little bit better. Chris Murray is really shooting the ball well for us right now. Garcia Tony is scoring real well for us. Uh, Josh Cooper is also doing an excellent job scoring lately. Uh, Charles Black is doing a, a good job, as well as Andre Malone. Off the bench, Ty Walker and Shane Wheeler are both coming in and contributing heavily, as well as Micah Pritchett and Abeta Garrison. Uh, we defeated Albertville at Albertville earlier in the season and lost to them by one point in overtime here at home. So we feel confident that we can defeat Albertville and advance into the sub-state play. If we defeat Albertville, we'll face the winner of Southside and Scottsboro Friday night at 7 o'clock. Well, we at Good Morning BHS would like to wish you and the team luck this week. Thank you very much. We now have an update on the boys' basketball game with Albertville. We beat the Aggies 79-60, to and Friday night we will play Scottsboro at Albertville for the area championship. Then on Tuesday we will play in the sub-state tournament. Today we're talking to Heather Freeman, Sandy Higginbottom, and Christy Thomas-Scuddy, who are members of the girls' varsity team. And Heather's going to tell us how the games went last week with West Morgan and ARAB. Well, we started pretty slow against West Morgan. We weren't getting on the boards pretty good. Um, second half, we, we went in halftime with the idea and the, the goal to get on the boards more. and. We came out second half and we were ready, and once we got a lead, we kept on, and we ended up that game pretty good. All right, ARAB, we, um, that's one of our biggest rivalries, and um, they never, we always have it where pretty much the past four years, they've never won here at Brewer, so we wanted to keep it that way. So we, um, we started out pretty slow. We, one thing we need to learn about a team, what we need to learn from that game is that we, when we got it, we need to put a team away when we got them down. But it, that game was pretty much slow. We didn't, we didn't get after the loose balls. And then finally we, we hung in there at the end and we did our very best and we won. Okay. And Sandy's going to tell us how she thinks the team has done this year. I think the season started off a little bit slow, but um, after a while we got, with hard work and dedication, we pulled through. We've done pretty good. Okay. And Christy's going to tell us how she thinks the team's going to do the rest of the season. Well, we start our area Tuesday against Southside, and hopefully we'll win that, and then we'll go into the finals. We'll, we'll probably play either Albertville or Scottsboro. And after that, we'll play, if we win, we'll play the loser from an area down in Birmingham. So hopefully we'll win that, and we'll go on. And we'll only have to win two games this year as opposed to three in the past years. You know, we can win two games in the sub-state and go on to Calhoun and compete in the state tournament. So that's our goals right now, and we feel we can make them happen. Okay, thank you, and we wish you the best of luck. Now we're talking to Coach Presley, and he's going to tell us how the JV girls did this year. Well, we started off uh, earlier in the year one and three, which uh, I wasn't really used to that as far as the record, but uh, as the year went on, we got a lot better and uh, finished with a seven and five record. And that's in spite of the fact that we had a, uh, two girls uh, move up to varsity permanently and we didn't have them with us the rest of the year. But uh, I thought the girls really worked hard and uh, it was an accomplishment finishing seven and five like we did. Uh, in our last game against West Morgan, uh, last Tuesday our leading scorer was uh, Sandra Romine. She had 14 points and uh, Cassie Belby had nine and Alicia Burton had seven. And, uh, it was a big win and finished the season on a high note. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Today we'd like to talk to Coach Self about the 1991-92 Junior Varsity Basketball Team. First of all, we'd like to congratulate the coach on winning the Morgan County Tournament. Tell us a little about the team, Coach. Well, first of all, let's give credit where credit's due. I didn't win the tournament. The, the players won the tournament. Uh, I feel like we had a successful season. Our final record was 17-9. Uh, and nine. That's the uh, second best record that the JV teams had in the four years I've been here. 
Uh, we had a lot of players that put forth the maximum amount of effort which is required to be successful at this level. And overall, I was pleased with the effort that they showed during the year. Thanks, Coach. Once again, congratulations on winning the Morgan County Tournament. Thanks. Everybody squat.